Hey guys, welcome to Artsy Studio. I'm Kara. And I'm Kaysen. Hey Kaysen, what are we going to draw today? A Kandinsky circle ornament. We are. We are going to draw Kandinsky circle ornaments today. And do you know who Kandinsky is? No. Well, Kandinsky was a Russian painter and he made abstract art. And some of the paintings that he was most famous for was his Kandinsky circles. Mm -hmm. So today we are going to draw our Kandinsky circles on Christmas ornaments because we love Christmas, don't we? Yes, we do. I love Christmas. So this is what we're going to do today. As you can see, we got our Kandinsky circle ornaments going on here. And we are going to show you guys step by step how to draw this. We're going to start by teaching you how to draw the ornaments and then we're going to show you how to draw in your Kandinsky circles inside of them. So are you guys ready to get artsy? Hey guys, we're going to go ahead and get started and I'm going to go over a few supplies we're going to need. We're going to need a pencil, we're going to need some paper, we're going to need a sharpie, you're going to need some crayons or some markers or some paints if you want to get really creative, and we're going to need some circle shapes. So a lid, we're going to use the CD case here, anything that you have in your house, like a bowl or a cup you could use to make the circles. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that here in a second. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to put my circle shape here. You may have a bowl, you may have a cup, and I'm going to use the biggest one we have. So you want to try to find big and small shapes. And so you might want to use a bowl and then use a cup and use a can if you have one. So I'm going to start with this case here and I'm just going to put it halfway off my paper and I'm going to trace around that and it makes a really good Christmas ball shape. Then when I'm done with that I'm going to make a parenthesis here and a parenthesis here and I'm going to make a curved line that connects them to so that's kind of the topper on your Christmas ball and the next thing I'm going to do is make a hill and make another one inside that so there's your your first Christmas ball and then I'm going to use this really cool marble and I'm just going to trace around that don't worry about getting the shape super straight because Kandinsky is really kind of messy circles. They're not perfect. So I did the same thing. I traced around the circle and then I'm going to put a parenthesis here and a parenthesis here. Connect them. Another hill and another hill. And then I'm going to go to a smaller shape, even smaller. And I'm going to go over to the side. So you can put your balls any way you want to. Um, I'm going to go over here and trace this circle. And then I'm going to put a parenthesis here, a parenthesis here. And I'm going to make my hill. And if it goes off the side of the paper, that's okay. Just go with it. And I'm going to do one more down here at the bottom. Hey, guys. Okay, so once you're done with tracing your um, Christmas balls, you're going to go ahead and make some circle shapes inside of it. So I'm going to start with a small circle shape. And like I said, Kandinsky circles are kind of blobby. They're not perfect. So we're just going to use a light pencil to trace around. You may have a small circle and then a bigger circle. And a 
bigger circle and it may come off the side here. So you don't have to worry about getting perfect circles. That's what's kind of fun about this paint, this piece of art. I'm going to do another one here. And then I'm going to do one here. Okay guys, so the next step you're going to do is you're going to use your Sharpie and you're going to trace around the outline of your Christmas balls. And the topper of your Christmas ball. And we're going to keep what's inside the Christmas ball just the way it is. So we don't want a really bold line because we're going to color that in. So you're going to keep all of this inside just with the pencil marks. Okay, so now you have your Kaczynski circles drawn in here and everything outlined. And so the next step is just to either color or paint in the circles. So we're going to use markers today and I'm going to stick with the Christmas kind of theme here, but I'm just going to change them up a little bit. So I'll show you what I'm doing here. I'm going to do my center circle and a red. I'm just going to color going in the same direction and I'm going to keep building on my color. And then I may make the outside over here red. Okay, so next I'm going to go in and I'm going to grab another color. So I think I'm going to do green. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go around and do the green in different areas. So... I'm going to go on the outside of this one here. That's okay if they kind of overlap. Kind of looks like the green is bleeding into the red. And then I'm just going to move on to the next color. So I'm going to grab a yellow and I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the next color. And then we're going to Continue to move on to your next color and you can get as creative as you want to. You can use pink, blue, orange, purple, whatever you want to use on your Christmas balls. The next step, you are just going to color in the tops of the balls. So I'm going to do mine yellow or gold. Awesome got job, guys! Thanks for getting artsy with us today. So before we leave, I want to show you some different ways to, that we can draw these Kaminsky circles. So Kaysen's going to show you his art right now. And Kaysen's art is with crayon, so it looks a little different than our marker drawing here. So everybody's is going to look different, but make sure you send us your art so we can see it. And we love the art that you were sending us, guys, don't we, Kaysen? And you can send it to us at Artsy Studio. You can email us at www.artsystudio.com. And, and don't forget to subscribe. Yes, if you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.